Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast took place the regular sitting of the Parliament of Western Armenia, demonstrations in front of the Turkish Embassy in Paris, fights continuing south of Artsakh, session of Eurasian Intergovernmental Council took place in Yerevan. Turkey and Azerbaijan have prepared for war together. The first snow fell in Van, Western Armenia. In Gimri Dushoshi Theater, troop performs for children from Artsakh. On October 8 took place the regular parliamentary discussion of the Republic of Western Armenia. President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenia Kabaramian, Prime Minister Said Amerikan, and five deputies were present at the sitting held in Yerevan. Twenty-five were absent. The absence was partially conditioned by the Artsakh war. The agenda discussed during the sitting of the National Assembly was as follows. Discussion of the Declaration of the Armenian National Council of Western Armenia of December 14, 2004, creation and chronology of the Constitution of of the Republic of Western Armenia from December 14, 2004 to May 9, 2016. Conference planning agenda. It was decided to hold conferences once every two weeks. Felix Abramian talked about the situation in Sunik region. President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Abramian, made an opening speech presenting the history of the Republic of Western Armenia, the millennial history of the Armenian people in the Armenian highlands as natives, which genetically is proven. He also referred to all the people who did not convert to Christianity but remain natives of the Armenian highlands. He presented the map of Western Armenia, which is commonly called the map of Nubar Pasha, where the genocide against Armenians took place. President Armenak Abramian answered the questions related to the sitting with the final speech. French Armenians protested in front of the Turkish embassy in Paris. They observed a minute of silence in memory of the victims who fell as a result of the Azerbaijani-Turkish aggression against Artsakh. The demonstrators carried posters in Armenian, English and French with contents like Union, Struggle, Victory, Stop Aliyev, Erdogan is a terrorist, Karabakh is ours. The citizens of Western Armenia and the deputies headed by Bassam Tahan also take an active part in the demonstrations. Next Tuesday at 6 p.m., another demonstration will take place in front of the French Parliament. The demonstrators will demand the recognition of the Artsakh's independence. Hostilities continue intensively in all directions of the front line. Vahran Pogosian, spokesperson for the president of Artsakh, wrote this on his Facebook page. In fierce battles, the Azerbaijani army is suffering a large amount of lost manpower in the battlefield, trying to fill the shortage mainly with the veterans who have lost in the Artsakh war. The Artsakh Defense Army performs its combat task brilliantly, Pogosian added. The session of the Eurasian Intergovernmental Council took place today in Yerevan. Prime Minister of Armenia Nikol Pashinyan welcomed the guests at Garan Demirchian Sports and Concert Complex. The narrow format meeting was attended by the heads of the government of four member states of the Eurasian Economic Union, as well as chairman of the board of the Eurasian Economic Commission Mikhail Miasnikovic. From the Armenian side, the session was attended by the PM Nikol Pashinyan, from the Russian side PM Mikhail Mishustin, from the Belarusian side, Roman Golovchenko, from the Kazakh side, PM Oskar Mamin. The narrow format session will be followed by the extended format one. Turkey and Azerbaijan have prepared for today's war together. Here is an excerpt from Fahim Tashketin's article on the Karabakh war published in the Red Flag periodical. In the past, Turkey has pursued a policy in favor of Baku without getting involved in the conflict. Relations changed when Erdogan drafted protocols on normalization of relations with Armenia in 2009 on the condition of Karabakh. Azerbaijan became the main customer of Turkish weapons after Russia, Israel and Belarus. After the conflict in Tavush in July, a new phase began began, Turkey and Azerbaijan began to prepare together for the current war. Russia is the big boss in the region in terms of vertical relations. Now Erdogan wants to share the role of the leader in the Caucasus with Putin. The Caucasus is Enver Pasha's half-finished dream for the Turks, the article reads. The first snow fell in the highlands of the province of Van Bashkale, Western Armenia, which caused difficulties especially for shepherds grazing sheep. The temperature in Gavar showed plus 8 degrees in the daytime and dropped to minus 4 degrees in the evening. The theater troupe of Shushi State Theater after Makartij Khandamirian organizes puppet shows in Gumri for the children of Artsakh. As reported by Arman Press, the idea came from the theater director Ashkhan Harutunyan. A few days ago, anime destroyed the house of culture of Shushi, which served as a theater building. The warehouse of our dolls and clothes were destroyed. What we had gained through many years of hard work was lost in an instant. But then we realized that we should not leave the young audience without a fairy tale, because now more than ever, children 
need a fairy tale. Ashkan Harutunyan told reporters, We are everywhere with our audience. We will restore everything very quickly. The important thing is the breath of art that we can pass to our children. Until now, Harutunyan has brought several groups of children from Artsakh. She is sure that everything will end soon. They will return to Artsakh and before that, the small theater group will show performances for the children who came to Gyumri from Artsakh. Now let us represent to your attention a song Yarhushta. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.